Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Rule the Wave. So last episode we left off with me, uh, you know, pontificating on how um, uh, a design thing works. And I, I read online that you go to open design and then if you, yeah, here we go, develop from class, if you just start making a new class off of this one, then it's, you know, depending on how much you change it, it's a little bit cheaper. So right now this is a Dreadwolf. Uh, we, what we were talking about doing was increasing the... Um, the secondary guns here. And that's, that would make it a 30% change from the, the regular Dreadwolf. Uh, nine inch guns would be ideal. And you, from what I understand is you can go up to about a thousand tons bigger. So that would be 1,000 tons bigger right there. And right now, see uh, putting nine inch guns on it would, was is basically a completely new design. 8-inch guns uh, is what I was looking. Was what I was interested in. Is uh, just a bigger secondary armament there, slightly bigger, um, better secondary armament, same tertiary armament. Can we give it more tertiary guns? That that's fine. You can you can up the tertiary guns without any problem. That's not going to affect anything. I think you can make it a little bit faster, a little bit faster. Yeah, I can make it faster. And I think that's that should be fine. Okay, so bat bigger bigger secondary batteries. Can we put them in turrets? Slightly overweight. I can put them in turrets. I can put them in turrets on the sides. And uh, you know that that's not bad actually. I don't I don't think I should. Yeah, that 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 changes it too much. Yeah, once we get past that, it's just like it's no longer a uh, developed from a design. So what we're gonna do is this. A little bit faster. We we got some room. We can deck out the tertiary guns. I'm gonna keep the yeah. We can do that. Deck out the tertiary guns so it can fight destroyers, up the size of the secondary guns, uh, and it's going to be developed from the Dreadwolf class. And we're just going to call this the the uh, Dreadwolf Mark II. And you'll go over Roman numerals to make it look cool. There we go. Okay. Save that. Okay. Yes. And we're going to build one of those. Let's let's tell let's let's build two. Okay, that's okay. Uh, Dreadwolf Mark II, it's just going to be called the Dreadwolf Mark II. And this one we're going to rename, rename ship, and uh, this is going to be the Roach after my, my buddy who got me into this game. So those are going to be, our, those are going to be slightly better pre-Dreadnoughts. Frame has laid down the hood, which is a pre-Dreadnought. During a coronation review, there's been a collision between one of our ships and a ship from the U.S. What is your comment? Clumsy maneuver by an ill-trained crew is what it was. Tantalizingly close to inventing the periscope. So our submarines don't have periscopes yet. <laughs> uh, there's been an uprising in an African colony, the focus of great power colonial ambitions. We need to send a force to uh, evacuate our nationals and protect our interests. Send a fucking battleship out there. Send one of our battleships out, yeah. I mean, that. I, I'm not happy about this. Maybe I should stop saber-rattling. Ambassador from Great Britain has approached the Minister of Naval suggestion that we curb our naval program in the interest of peace and stability. What do we answer? Tantamount to surrender. We will not reduce our naval Navy unilaterally. If they're nervous about armaments, they uh, we should call a conference. Budget down, tension down. That's okay, actually. Tensions down is okay. Double bottoms, gradual damage control improvement. Nice. I mean, look at the size of this navy compared to the one we had before. So it went down with these guys. I would fight France or, or Russia. That'd be cool. The six-foot rangefinder. Yes, I will take that. I will take a better rangefinder. 
power rammers, grad gradual rate of fire improvement. And right now, we're not really doing doing much other than trying to keep our nation, our, our navy and our nation together. Come to power in France. This has potential to increase tensions between our nations. Reason for concern. Budget, prestige, and tension go way up. I guess it will just say it's a reason for concern. Side drums. Understand medium wing turrets. All right. New, new U.S. ship, the heavy cruiser, the Pittsburgh. 7,700 tons. It's got eight 7-inch guns. Interesting. Uh, so it's got um, a 4 turret, an aft turret, and then two wing turrets, and 10 3-inch guns. 7,700 tons, 22 knots. I mean, my heavy cruisers are 21 knots, 11,000 tons. So that's the thing. My heavy cruisers are fucking huge for the time. My armored cruisers are basically like a small pre-dreadnought. Kind of like that, though. And what we're going to do is more subs. We're going to do a whole nother run of subs. Boom. Do we, do we start? Did I, did I get it going? No. Oh, you know what I did? Uh, build subs. Like this. I don't think I selected anything. There we go. Uh, the president expressed concerns that our forces in North American East Coast are insufficient considering the threat from the USA. Oil has been discovered in Kenya. Uh, we are on our way to understanding active mine warfare. I like that. Yes, I know, or you might say that. Most of it is aggressive moves by the U.S. Navy. Political murder in the Balkans. Okay, uh, what are we going to do? Demand that the guilty party be brought to justice. Diplomatic solution to the crisis. Nations stupid enough to put all their fingers in the Balkan fire would realize that they'd get burned. France got upset with that. Yes, the United States, I'm sure. Let's see, what do they got right now? Twice as many uh, dreadnoughts. Uh, similar amount of crew. I have more heavy cruisers. They have 16 light cruisers. 27 destroyers. I should actually redesign my destroyers. I was kind of hoping I would get another tech fire from them, but I haven't. Sun slump in the economy has led to widespread unemployment and poverty, as well as cutbacks in military spending. Ooh. So social reforms. Boom. Make everybody happy. Your prestige suffers. Yeah. To acquire the knowledge of active mine warfare from the U.S. Delivers a sharply worded protest over that. Ooh, okay. Enables central firing as fire control. Okay, so we just unlocked better fire control. So what we're going to do... Let's see. Open design for rebuild and just central firing control. That shouldn't do... That shouldn't cost much at all. And save design. Reboot. Uh, yes. Monthly build cost. That's going to cost, take three months and cost uh, a quarter of a million dollars to do that. But what we're going to do, I mean, can we do it on all of them? Start with the light cruisers and rebuild ship to these guys. Yes. All right, it's not going to take long at all. Put better uh, fire control computers on these things. New hawkish government wants to raise armament expenditure. Ooh. Well, this, this could bring me to war with France. No! Ooh, and now we have access to medium wing turrets. Secondary uh, wing turrets. Uh, double turrets up to 10 inches in caliber. That's good. France has posed a five-year security arrangement between our nations. What is the advice on how to respond? Interesting. Seek broader arrangements to make the interests of all nations into account. We should avoid entanglements that will tie our foreign policy to irresponsible and dangerous nation. I mean, that's... Oh, that pissed off England and Russia. Shit, I don't want to go to war with England. Okay, so we are getting our better fire control uh, set up on our our light cruisers here. As a majority of it's heavy and ah, what should we do? 
Uh, don't fret about it. Send a note suggesting they reduce their stance in the interest of peace and stability. Reacts badly. They don't. They're not happy with that. Yep, that went up. God damn it. All right. So now what we're gonna do is go to these guys. Open design for rebuild and central range fire finder. Uh, that shouldn't be. Okay, that should be fine. I mean, we should not nothing nothing else in here. We, we, want, we don't want to change any. I mean, we could replace the machinery, but that'll be expensive comparatively. So we're just gonna save this. Yep. Rebuild it. It's gonna cost three hundred and forty thousand. But what we're gonna do is do all of these at the same time because we can't afford it. Uh, rebuild ship to this design. Bam. Cool. It should go real fast. Three months shouldn't be a problem. It wants me to build two additional battleships. Oh, prestige down. Ooh. Yeah, because I don't want to do tension up right now. So we'll take the prestige hit. Ill-considered statement about Japan. Hmm. You will not comment on policy issues. Try to explain. I can't take another prestige hit. Okay, better torpedoes. Mobilize. Yeah, we should probably mobilize our ships. It's going to cost some money, but we should we should do that. Uh, let's see. The two new Dreadwolves are are coming. The Dreadwolf Mark II and the Roach. Well, at least I got the I got the better fire control uh, systems on my light cruisers and my heavy cruisers, and we're we're taking a hit on. All right, I actually should save some money because now we just built those guys. China, I love China. Keep. Uh, we should keep out of foreign adventures. Yes, tension down. Yes, U.S. tension down. As I was kind of, kind of a little nervous about going to war with the U.S. while I'm still building some ships. Oh shit. Yeah, well, we're gonna tell them to go fuck off. Yeah, I know I'm contradicting myself there, but you know, I catch a spy here. No, you're not. You don't spy on me. I spy on you. You don't spy on me. Uh, and what we should do is rebuild ship. Oh, you know what? We don't have a thingy. Uh, open design for rebuild. And... Ah, right here. Now, replacing the machinery will do almost nothing, so cancel that. Central rain finds. There we go. Let's save that. Okay. Yep. Uh, it'll cost... Take four months and cost... $400,000. That's okay. We're going to do the other two as well. This design. It'll cost me a little bit of money, but I need to get these, uh... The better, uh, range finders on these ships so that they can actually hit their damn targets. God damn it. Russia is the one I might end up going to war with. Nice. Okay, good. We replaced our fire control systems. I'll go to war with Russia. I'll just raid the shit out of them. What are they going to do about it? The Dread Wolf Mark II has been commissioned. Yes. A little bit better. A little bit better ship. And the Roach has been commissioned. Been a re rebellion in the American possessions of the Eastern Aleutians. What do you recommend? Do we want to poke the U.S. and go to war? I can't take any more prestige hits. Yeah, let's go to war with the U.S. Let's, I mean, this might be a stupid idea, but I mean, I'm, I'm just itching for conflict right now. Main battery wing turrets. Nice. That, okay, we're right there, but we're not at war yet. We're right there, but not, it's, it's not, it's not there just yet. And we got a lot of money to work with right now. We're going to keep going whole hog on submarines. Because we can. You know what? I think it's time to design a new a new ship. Uh, we can go up to 17,000 tons. 
can go up to 17,000 tons. Uh, we can probably increase its speed at this point without too much trouble. 19, 20 knots. 20 knots sounds good. Uh, I think that's that's the biggest caliber. Okay, let's um, we have nothing on here right now, so let's let's clear these out. Uh, well, actually, you know what we want to do? Want to keep this, keep these in here. We can get double. I believe we could have double turrets. Fire control system. Let's just make sure. Oh, yeah, it doesn't have any guns yet. So add turret. We're gonna go forward and aft, and double turrets. So that's that's that. Central fire and computer. And oh, nope, we don't want to do that. Okay, so yeah, we can have double turrets uh, on the on the wing on the wings here. That's good. That is real good. Eight inch guns. I like eight inch guns. Um, tertiary guns. Let's make sure that we have a decent amount of those. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. There we go. Is that too much? Well, you know what I can do is I could add more primary turrets. You have the wing turrets. Right in the middle here, like this. Fire off to the sides like that. That's it's, it's it's too big right now though. It's way too big. By about 800 tons, maybe knock one knot off. Ten. That's five turrets. That's that's an odd number. Twelve is good. Hmm. Kind of like 12 8 inch guns. Starboard aft wing. Well, what if we did, like, that's right in the middle, right? No, that's right there. Let's delete that. And we can reduce these if we need to save some weight. Midship, that's kind of what I wanted. Midship. Hmm. One ton. That should be okay. Is it, this ship identifies as a battleship. Okay. Interesting. Has not developed secondary turrets for BBs. We haven't? Thought we did. Oh, for... You know what? It's because it's classified as a battleship, not a... Yeah, so no, I think these are the problems. So delete this turret, delete this turret, check it. Now it says it's okay. So, well, putting those extra turrets on on the wings there was uh, reclassifying as a battleship, which meant I would have had to change up a lot of a lot of this this thing. So, I think what we're going to be doing is upping its secondary armament then. Four tur four double turrets on each side. That seems fine to me. Um. Let's keep the you know, yeah. Let's keep the torpedo tubes on there. They tend to work well with slower ships. We're at sixteen. We could probably get that knot back now. We can actually get. We can actually make this thing relatively zippy. For the time twenty one knots. No, I don't want to increase its secondary guns anymore. But we could. You know, what we could do is probably increase its armor. There we go, that's fine. A little bit more belt armor. And wow, perfect! Perfect. Okay, so uh, we did a new name for this class. Okay, this is going to be the Rhino. From one of my Patreons. Save that design. Boom, yes, build the Rhino. Get lay two of them down. There we go. 32 months to build this. Oh, something happened. 
proclamation read by his excellency from the steps of parliament csa and usa not in a state of war uh our force our forces available in the area unknown their forces a lot well let's see what happens no but nothing nothing happened okay unrestricted submarine warfare uh we are going to put one uh, we need 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 of these guys on coastal patrol duty Alrighty, we're gonna go one, two, three, four of these guys are going to go to uh, move ship to North American East Coast. Boom. These three are gonna go to the move ship, the West Coast. Boom. And if I remember correctly, the Americans don't really have any possessions down here. No. Great Britain, France, Russia. USA. Okay, they don't have any ships over here. I mean, they have a lot of stuff on the West Coast, but they don't have anything over here. So we should be okay. Uh, I thought I'd put that on unrestricted. Alright, let's see what happens. North American East Coast is our forces there are too weak. Yeah, I know. I don't have, any, I don't have anything up there. Dreadwolf is finished or working up. Unprecedented, uh, you know, unexpected developments, uh, developments in... Uh, fire control, which is good. Our submarine sinks seven ships. They sink one. Uh, they have a raider in, the, in northern Europe. I don't have anything in northern Europe. Enemy forces... Uh, oh, okay. Accept that. Unknown ship sighted. Oh, God. It's the middle of the goddamn night. Oh, shit. Torpedoes. Oh, this is not good. It's the middle of the freaking night. <laughs> no. Dirt away. Don't get hit by a torpedo. All right, so they turned away. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, that was... That was scary for a second there. All right, let's chase him down. See if we can't find him again. What time is it? It is... It's fucking midnight. It's almost 1 o'clock in the morning, so it's not like it's going to get light anytime soon. All right, so let's go... Let's cross the T here. And hope for the best. I mean, we're hitting them good. We teaser took a hit. Come on, noodle! You can noodle. Hopefully, we can get our. Oh, the oh, they launched a. They actually launched a torpedo. Okay, that one slowed down, so it didn't hit. <laughs> Smart guy. So we're messing up the Spokane here. It's sinking. All right, so that's a good. We, we could just move past him. Spokan just hit, uh, the magazine was hit and the ship blew up. Alright, nice. I'm a little surprised we actually launched a torpedo and it didn't hit anything, but we launched it. That made me happy. Keep firing. Take out these American light cruisers. Fire! Fire, damn it! I know it's the middle of the night, you can't see shit, but fire! Chattanooga class. What's a Chattanooga class? 21 knots, 3,700 tons. Um, they, the, uh, yeah, the, they're, these guys are doomed. I'm actually very happy with the, the hit ratio so far. We've been hitting these guys perfectly fine. Chattanooga hit. Chattanooga hit. Yeah, we're starting to get some nice hits in now. The teaser is doing the. I don't I haven't seen the noodle hit anything yet, but the teaser is at the lead of the formation. So the noodle. Can't having trouble seeing it. I think out of sight. Yeah. And they hit it nice uh, a couple a couple times. Pretty good. There's the other one up there, knocking out these American raiders that have come down here. Is, is gonna be real good for me. Good. 
guns. Eight-inch guns are getting hits. That's what I love. It's not just it's tertiary. Or, does he have a tertiary armor? Uh, yeah, he's got he's got um, 14. It's not just the six-inch guns. It's not the three-inch guns. It's the eight-inch. It's the the, the turreted eight-inch main battery is getting hits, which I like. That was the six-inch guns, but. I'm not used to actually getting hits in, the, in in early games so well. Heavy damage to the Chattanooga. It's slowed down. Ooh, four hits. Eight-inch gun just hit. This thing's probably going to heavy damage on fire. Let's move past it. Oh, there's the... I was actually gonna, just going to start looking for the other one. You know what I'm going to do is... Have we even taken a hit yet? And have them come after. This one's on fire and heavily damaged. So we are going to come after this one now. Because that one I doubt is going to survive. There's a chance it'll survive, but if it does, it's heavily damaged. It's not going to be doing anything anytime soon. And if I'm lucky, I'll be able to knock this one out as well. Okay. Ooh, the teaser. Oh, near miss. No damage. Well, it might have taken a little bit of damage from a near miss, yeah. Near misses. Oh, it's it's turrets disabled. Probably mechanical. Jam oh, I just saw that jammed. The teaser took a hit in the belt, the extended belt. Okay, come on. Don't let him get away. Oh, God, what the fuck? Oh, the, the sun's coming up. I think. I think that's what just fucking change. Everything just changed the color. Uh, moderate breeze. Oh, there's mist. I th maybe it's the mist. I didn't actually see at the start if there was mist everywhere. Come on, if I could take out three American light cruisers in this engagement here, that would just be amazing. Oh, he turned. Sighting, <laughs> sighting range is two thousand yards right now. Got to be basically on top of each other to, to figure out where they are. Well, there's that's the damaged one. If we can't find them, we'll go back and... and no, no, I don't. Yeah, we're going to go back and uh, double back and see if we can finish off that other one. Uh, let's tell these guys to slow down to about... 12 knots and I want to I want them to launch a torpedo attack is what I want them oh it sank never mind it's gone cruising speed all right I think that other one got away so we are just gonna speed this up uh yes to all no no Let's just scoot around a little bit now that the sun... We, we, uh, no, it's only a little bit better. All right, so it's over. Okay, so let's see. Light damage to one heavy cruiser. Two heavy cruisers sunk. One heavy... One light... Or two light cruisers sunk. One light cruiser lightly damaged. That was a pretty good victory for me. Yeah, that was nice. Gain one prestige. That was... That, that, that was better than I could have anticipated. So these guys are going to boom, 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 east coast. Uh, raiding. These ships are all going to be moving. Let's see, destroyers one. Ten of these. Twelve of them. These guys are all going to be moving to the American east coast. Boom. From the Caribbean. Uh, did we get our guys on the... No, we haven't gotten our guys to the... Uh, the other coast yet. The west coast. 13 uh, ships sunk by our subs. Enemy submarines torpedoed and damaged our light cruiser. The uh, uh, Muskie. Muskogee. Fleet battle. Let's decline that. 
Six destroyers versus three light cruisers. Let's see, see if we can uh, do anything here. I mean, our destroyers are not that good. But if I could get a lucky torpedo hit on on a light cruiser, that would be ideal. Or maybe nothing, nothing could, pop, could, could happen, actually. Just moving around. Oh, they attacked some, they attacked a guy over here. Turn around. Uh, squad max, go. Well, there they go again. Don't know what it is. It's at least two ships. Two light cruisers. Torpedo range is minuscule. But what we are going to try to do is get into a uh, torpedo range, see if we can get lucky. Oh, we already took a hit to the en an engine room on one of our destroyers here. Just need to get in close and hope they'll launch a torpedo. Okay, yeah, they won't. Oh, we, we hit him. Light damage. Drove him off, at least. I don't think the launch torpedo is going 27 knots. Alright, night's coming. So, that's, that's good for us. That's what we want is night. We want to be able to get in close. And see if we can get them to launch torpedoes. Well, there's a torpedo. Squad max is eight. Oh, it looks... It died out real fast. That torpedo didn't go for, for very long. Let's go back this way. I caught a torpedo to launch. I definitely had to slow down to do it. I just wanted to see if they, yeah, I can prevent them from sinking any more merchants. I should I should probably build better destroyers right now. Oh, there's one. How long has this been going? For a while. 300 minutes. Oh, squad max is probably low because one of these guys is damaged. These guys only have local firing control. There's not a fire control computer. Which is why it's hard to hit things. Uh, the Richard Page just got massacred. And I'm no longer controlling it, it looks like. Why don't you see... We, let's see if we can get him back to base. I don't want to lose these ships. So let's just tell him to go back to base. Squad Max. Ah, uh, he's sinking. Never mind. He sunk. Alright, let's send the other ones back. These destroyers aren't modern enough to, to do torpedo attacks on light cruisers and, and expect success. Oh, now, they're now he's chasing me down. Let's just get back to port. If we're lucky. Oh, he hit the wall. <laughs> There's not enough torpedoes. Uh, they, they only launch if you're going at a slow speed, so. Going to lose a little bit of points here. Uh, oh, 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 okay. They won't go back to Pensacola from there. All right. Well, we're just going to end this episode right here. If you have enjoyed it, please drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Rule the Waves, just subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys next time.